Super brief video here. I just want to cover something really quickly. Uh, on your screen is one of the Wessex Gospels, more specifically the Gospel of Matthew, uh, dating to either the late 10th century or the early 11th century. This is the earliest English translation of the Gospel of Matthew. Uh, more specifically, it's translated into Old English and um, even more specifically into the West Saxon dialect of Old English. Uh, and this translation renders Jesus' name as Heland. On your screen, it reads Helendis uh, because it's in the genitive case, but more generally, it, it reads Heland. And I ask that students of Old English forgive me if I got the precise pronunciation wrong. Uh, now, that might seem like a strange way to render Christ's name, but it's the result of an attempt to translate rather than merely transliterate or transcribe his name. And to explain what I mean, let me use a Hebrew text as an analogy, right? See, on your screen now is the Vatican Library's manuscript of the medieval Shem Tov Hebrew translation of the Gospel of Matthew. And I'd like to focus on the bottom line of the opening page, which contains a part of Matthew 121. The relevant text reads, Yeshua, ki hu Yoshia et amo. He called his name Yeshua because he will save Yoshia, his people. I hope you can see how similar the name is to the verb that's, you know, the verb to save, which is employed. So with that in mind, right, let's return to the Wessex Old English translation of the Gospel of Matthew, as you're going to see something similar in verse 21 of the first chapter, which is what you see here on your screen now. Uh, verse 21 begins here, but I just want to focus on the portion of the verse covering his name, which is this portion here. And here's an elucidation of each word, and I'm not going to attempt to pronounce everything <laughs> because, again, I suspect that uh, students of Old English will find my pronunciation terrible, but uh, Nonetheless, you get to see each word, and you can pause the video if you want to take a closer look. Uh, and just to be clear, this portion right here, uh, Hal Gedev, that means cause to be safe or to make safe, right? In short, it means save. So the text in its entirety translates to, you will name his name Savior. He will truly save his folk from their sins. And these two words, Hal and Helend, are etymologically related. Much like with the Hebrew translation that we just looked at, this translation is designed to connect Christ's name with the salvation that he brings. In short, in the earliest English translation of the Gospels, the translator tried to translate Jesus' name rather than merely transliterate it. Now, you know, you could split hairs over whether Yeshua should be translated salvation rather than savior, but whatever the Whatever the case may be, the fact of the matter is that this text was attempting to translate his name. Now, of course, I know that translating names is generally frowned upon, but I thought others might find this uh, historical fact uh, interesting, you know. And on that note, uh, I look forward to any comments, questions, or criticisms. I'll close the short video here. God bless.